Hi, it's Mike from Custom Cruises. Here we are, massive Featherlight trailer. As you can see, absolutely enormous. This is what we're using as basically as a room. It's that big. We can actually use it as a storeroom. But uh, tri-axle means it virtually stands on its own. Um, Pull-out steps, side door. Okay, now the other side, what we've done, cost a lot of money actually. We've had these massive doors open up. So if you want to sell stuff, this is like a huge serving counter. Um, and this one as well, this, this is like a door as well. So you can actually get in in a couple of ways um, and also sell in a couple of ways. But uh, as you can see at the moment, just being used to store, this is all the stuff we were gonna put in the shop when we do it all up. But uh, beautiful racket if you know who wants any racket. All that display stuff for the shows, which again, we're not doing any more shows, hence selling the trailer. These are our display boards. But as you can see, we've got um, sunroof going on there. Um, you can actually see this is all winterized. That was a hell of a job. All this is filled with insulation, the ceiling as well. Just really wants trimming off, but till we finish the wire 100%, I haven't bothered, but as you can see, the wires go up under these aluminium things, which is standard in these. Um, you can see the construction's huge. You know, these massive channel type things, obviously the strength of the thing. Here's all your um, lighting. Okay, it really just wants tidying up. The hard work it really has been done. Um, huge thing, I mean, absolutely enormous. Coming into the front bit. Okay. This here, as you can see, your cassette bog that basically comes out from the outside. So, there's your toilet. All right, this here drop down sink. You know, I don't know if you can see that, but right, well, ideal. Okay, then we've got shower unit obviously it's all in one just really wants you know finishing off these are all proper things but as you can see the size of a thing you can get an enormous car in here um i will actually give you the measurements here's the side door this is the one you'd use to get in when you're racing these are exterior light switches but what we've done we've put all big proper 240s in and, no sorry um 240s and 12s okay so we've actually got both from what I can remember, there's 240 and 12. This is big enough for a monster bed, as you can see. There's a bloody great area here, huge. And you've also got, um, this was like storage, etc. as well. Then you've got all your power units here. Okay, this is all for your power. You've got your split charging system. It does 110, so you can actually run it off a site thing. Under here, you've got your water heater. Um, extension leads etc this is your water pumps um, not finished completely because obviously this then this actually is a um, becomes a settee you know a sofa thing there's all the, um, the bits off that as well I've actually got a Winnebago motorhome um, cooker and fridge and all sorts if, if that's any use as well this here, as you can see, is where all this has been. That whole lot opens out. So this whole window system opens out and gives you a fantastic serving area, which to be honest with you, if we were doing shows and I had some decent, reliable people, would be amazing. You just pull up, open the side, and away you go, you trade. This is all the racking and stuff. But uh, as you can see, amazing bit of kit. Really is a pity to get rid of it. It cost me a lot of money to buy and a lot of money to, to get it like this. You know, by the time I've done all the lighting, etc. But um, 